Miyamoto Musashi, circa 1584, June 13, 1645, also known as Shinman Takez, Miyamoto Benesuk, or, by his Buddhist name, Nitin Draku, was a Japanese swordsman and Nin. Musashi, as he was often simply known, became renowned through stories of his excellent swordsmanship in numerous duels, even from a very young age. He was the founder of the Hinitanichi Rai or Nitin Rai style of swordsmanship and the author of the Book of Five Rings, Go Ring no Sho, a book on strategy, tactics, and philosophy that is still studied today. Birth. The details of Miyamoto Musashi's early life are difficult to verify. Musashi himself simply states in Gorin no Sho that he was born in Haruma province. Nitin Ki, an early biography of Musashi, supports the theory that Musashi was born in 1584, he was born in Banshe, and Tench 12, 1584, the year of the monkey. The historian Kamiko Adishi, commenting on Musashi's text, notes, Munisei was Musashi's father, he lived in the Yamato village, in the Yoshino district, of Mimasaka province. Musashi was most probably born here. His childhood name was Benesuk. Musashi gives his full name and title in Gorin no Shou as Shinman Musashi no Kami Fujiwara no Genshin. His father, Shinman Munisei, was an accomplished martial artist and master of the sword and jut, also jit. Munisei, in turn, was the son of Hiratishjin, a vassal of Shinman Igano Kami, the lord of Takeyama Castle in the Yoshino district of Mimasaka province. Hirata was relied upon by Lord Shinman, and so was allowed to use the Shinman name. As for Musashi, Musashi no Kami was a court title, making him the nominal governor of Musashi province. Fujiwara was the lineage from which Musashi claimed nominal descent. Munisei and Musashi's birth date. Mysteriously, Munisei's tomb says he died in 1580, which obviously conflicts with the accepted birth date of 1584 for Musashi. Further muddying the waters, according to the genealogy of the extant Miyamoto family, Musashi was born in 1582. Kenji Takitsu has suggested that the accepted birth date of 1584 for Musashi is wrong, as it is primarily based on a literal reading of the introduction to the Goarino show where Musashi states that the years of his life add up to 60 yielding the 12th year of the Tensho era, or 1584. When working backwards from the well-documented date of composition, when it should be taken in a more literary and imprecise sense, indicating not a specific age, but merely that Musashi was in his sixties, when he wrote it. Because of the uncertainty centering on Munisei, when he died, whether he was truly Musashi's father, etc., Musashi's mother is known with even less confidence. Here are a few possibilities. One point Munisei's tomb was correct. He died in 1580, leaving two daughters, his wife adopted a recently born child, from the Akamatsu clan, intended to succeed Munisei at his JIT school. Omisa, Munisei's widow, was not Musashi's biological mother. Two point the tomb was wrong. Munisei lived a good deal longer, later than 1590 possibly. Musashi, then, was born to Munisei's first wife, Yashiko, daughter to Besho Shijeharu, who formerly controlled her Fuku village, until he lost a battle in 1578 to Yamanaka Munisei divorced her after Musashi's birth, whereupon she decamped for her father's house, leaving Musashi with Munisei. Musashi grew up treating Munisei's second wife, Omisa, daughter to Lord Shinman, as his mother. This second scenario is laid out in an entry to the Tasumi family's genealogy. The daughter of Besho Shijeharu first married Hirata Muni, and was divorced from him a few years later. After that she married Tasumi Masahisa. The second wife of Tasumi Masahisa was the mother of Miyamoto Musashi. Musashi's childhood name was Hirata Den. During his childhood, he went to Hirafuku to find his real mother. He moved in with the Tasumi family. Three point a variant of this second theory is based on the fact that the tombstone states that Omisa gave birth to Musashi on the 4th of March 1584 and died of it. Munisei then remarried to Yashiko. They divorced, as in the second theory, but Yashiko took Musashi, who was seven at the time, with her and married to Sumi Masahisa. Four point Kenji Takitsu refers to assume a birth date of 1581, which avoids the necessity of assuming the tombstone to be erroneous, although this poses the problem of from whom then Musashi received the transmission of the family martial art. Upbringing 
Regardless of the truth about Musashi's ancestry, when Musashi was seven years old, the boy was raised by his uncle, Dorinpo, or Dorin, and Shorian Temple, three kilometers, 1.8 mi, from Hirofugu. Both Dorin and Musashi's uncle by marriage, Tasumi, educated him in Buddhism and basic skills such as writing and reading. This education is possibly the basis for Yoshikoriji's fictional education of Musashi by the historical Zen monk Takun. He was apparently trained by Munisei in the sword, and in the family art of the Jut. This training did not last for a very long time, as in 1589, Munisei was ordered by Shim and Sokken to kill Munisei's student, Honidan Jikinasuk. The Honidan family was displeased, and so Munisei was forced to move 4 kilometers, 2.5 mi, away to the village of Koyakami. In 1592, Munisei died, although Takitsu believes that the person who died at this time was really Hirata Takahito. Musashi contracted eczema in his infancy, and this adversely affected his appearance. Another story claims that he never took a bath because he did not want to be surprised unarmed. While the former claim may or may not have some basis in reality, the latter seems improbable. An unwashed member of the warrior caste would not have been received as a guest by such houses as Honda, Ogasora and Hosokura. These and many other details are likely embellishments that were added to his legend, or misinterpretations of literature describing him. His father's fate is uncertain, but it is thought that he died at the hands of one of Musashi's later adversaries, who was punished or even killed for treating Musashi's father badly. However, there are no exact details of Musashi's life, since Musashi's only writings are those related to strategy and technique. Training in Swordsmanship Miyamoto Musashi having his fortune told. Print by Yutagoi Kuniyoshi. The name Musashi was thought to be taken from the name of a warrior monk named Musashi Benkei who served under Minamoto no Yoshitsune, but this is unconfirmed. It is said that he may have studied at the Ishiakurai Dojo school, which was also said to be a school Musashi defeated single-handedly during his later years, although this is very uncertain. He did have formal training either by his father, until he was seven years old, or from his uncle beginning at the age of seven. Ultimately the name was taken from his own original kanji, which can be read as Takes or as Musashi, as stated in Eiji Yoshikawa's book Musashi. First Duel I have trained in the way of strategy since my youth, and at the age of 13 I fought a duel for the first time. My opponent was called Eruma Kihi, a sword adept of the Shinto Rai, and I defeated him. At the age of 16 I defeated a powerful adept by the name of Akiyama, who came from Tajima province. At the age of 21 I went up to Kite, and fought duels with several adepts of the sword from famous schools, but I never lost. Miyamoto Musashi, Go Rino Show. According to the introduction of the Book of Five Rings, Musashi states that his first successful duel was at the age of 13, against a samurai named Eruma Kihi who fought using the Kashima Shinrai style, founded by Tsukaira Bokudan, B. 1489, D. 1571. The main source of the duel is the Heizoho Senshi Denki, anecdotes about the deceased master. Summarized, its account goes as follows. In 1596, Musashi was 13, and Eruma Kihi, who was traveling to hone his art, posted a public challenge in Hirofukumura. Musashi wrote his name on the challenge. A messenger came to Dorin's temple, where Musashi was staying, to inform Musashi that his duel had been accepted by Kihi. Dorin, Musashi's uncle, was shocked by this, and tried to beg off the duel in Musashi's name, based on his nephew's age. Kihi was adamant that the only way his honor could be cleared was if Musashi apologized to him when the duel was scheduled. So when the time set for the duel arrived, Dorin began apologizing for Musashi, who merely charged at Kihi with a six-foot quarter staff, shouting a challenge to Kihi. Kihi attacked with a wakizashi, but Musashi threw Kihi on the floor, and while Kihi tried to get up, Musashi struck Eruma between the eyes and then beat him to death. Eruma was said to have been arrogant, overly eager to fight, and not a terribly talented swordsman. William Scott Wilson, the lone samurai. Travels and duels. In 1599, three years later, Musashi left his village, apparently at the age of 15, according to the Tasakashi, the registry of the Sakashi region, although the Tanji Hokin Hiki says he was 16 years old in 1599, which agrees time-wise with the age, reported in Musashi's first duel. 
his family possessions such as furniture, weapons, genealogy, and other records were left with his sister and her husband, Hirao Yonan. He spent his time traveling and engaging in duels, such as with an adept called Akiyama from the Tajima province. In 1600, a war began between the Toyotomi and Tokugawa clans. Musashi apparently fought on the side of the Toyotomi's army of the west, as the Shinmun clan, to whom his family owed allegiance, had allied with them. Specifically, he participated in the attempt to take Fushimi Castle by assault in July 1600, in the defense of the besieged Jifu Castle in August of the same year, and finally in the Battle of Sekigahara. Some doubt has been cast on this final battle, as the high Oho Senshi Denki has Musashi saying he is no lord's vassal, and refusing to fight with his father, in Lord Yukita's battalion, in the battle. Omitting the Battle of Sekigahara from the list of Musashi's battles would seem to contradict the Gowarino Show's statement that Musashi fought in six battles, however. Regardless, as the Toyotomi side lost, it has been suggested that Musashi fled as well and spent some time training on Mount Hiko. Ichijiji Sagarimatsu, location of the battle between Musashi and the Ishiika school. After the battle, Musashi disappears from the records for a while. The next mention of him has him arriving in Kyoto at the age of 20, or 21, where he began a series of duels against the Ishiika school. Musashi's father, Munisei, also fought against a master of the Ishiika school, and won two out of three bouts in front of the shogun at the time, a Shikigi Ishiaki who granted him the title of Unrivaled Under the Sun. The Ishiika school, descended from Ida the Tenshin Shden Katori Shinrai or the Kyo Hachi Rai, was the foremost of the eight major schools of martial arts in Kyoto, the Kyo Rai slash schools of Kyoto. Legend has it that these eight schools were founded by eight monks taught by a legendary martial artist resident on the sacred Mount Kurama. At some point, the Ishiika family also began to make a name for itself not merely in the art of the sword, but also in the textile business, and for a dive unique to them. They gave up teaching swordsmanship in 1614, when they fought in the Army of the West against Tokugawa Iyasu in the Battle of Osaka, which they lost. But in 1604, when Musashi began dueling them, they were still preeminent. There are various accounts of the duels, the Yashiaka family documents claim that there was only one, against Yashiaka Kemp, which Musashi won. Musashi challenged Yashiaka Seija, master of the Yashiaka school, to a duel. Seija accepted, and they agreed to a duel outside Rindeji and Rakuhoku, in the northern part of Kyoto on 8 March 1604. Musashi arrived late, greatly irritating Seija. They faced off, and Musashi struck a single blow, per their agreement. This blow struck Seija on the left shoulder, knocking him out, and crippling his left arm. He apparently passed on the headship of the school to his equally accomplished brother, Yashia Kadenshichi, who promptly challenged Musashi for revenge. The duel took place in Kyoto outside a temple, Sanchsen Jindi. Denshichi wielded a staff reinforced with steel rings, or possibly with a ball and chain attached, while Musashi arrived late a second time. Musashi disarmed Denshichi and defeated him. This second victory outraged the Yashiaka family, whose head was now the 12-year-old Yashiaka Matashichiro. They assembled a force of archers, musketeers, and swordsmen, and challenged Musashi to a duel outside Kyoto, near Ichijiji Temple. Musashi broke his previous habit of arriving late, and came to the temple hours early. Hidden, Musashi assaulted the force, killing Matashichiro, and escaping while being attacked by dozens of his victims' supporters. To escape and fight off his opponents he was forced to draw his second sword, and defend himself with a sword in each hand. This was the beginning of his Nippenichi sword style. With the death of Matashichiro, this branch of the Ishiaka school was destroyed. After Musashi left Kyoto, some sources recount that he traveled to Hsin in Nera, to duel with, and learn from the monks there, widely known as experts with lance weapons. There he settled down at Enkaji Temple in Banch, where he taught the head monks, one Tata Hansabul Rose, brother. Hansabul Rose grandson would found the Ensu Rai, based on the Enmi Rai teachings and Ayajutsu. From 1605 to 1612, he traveled extensively all over Japan in Mashashuji, a warrior pilgrimage during which he honed his skills with duels. He was said to have used Bokken or Bakuto in actual duels. 
most of the engagements from these times, did not try to take the opponent's life unless both agreed, but in most duels, it is known, that Musashi did not care which weapon his foe used, such was his mastery. A document dated 5 September 1607, purporting to be a transmission by Miyamoto Munise of his teachings, suggests Munise lived at least to this date. In this year, Musashi departed Nerofurido, during which he fought, and killed, a Kusarigana practitioner named Shishido Bacon. In Edo, Musashi defeated Musgonosuk, who would found an influential staff-wielding school known as Shint Rai. Records of this first duel can be found in both the Shinto Muso Rai tradition and the Hinitanichi Rai, Miyamoto Musashi's school. The Shinto Muso Rai tradition states that, after being defeated by Musashi, Muso Gonosuke beat Musashi in a rematch. There are no current reliable sources outside the Shinto Muso Rai tradition to confirm that this second duel took place. Musashi is said to have fought over 60 duels, and was never defeated, although this is a conservative estimate, most likely not accounting for deaths by his hand in major battles. In 1611, Musashi began practicing zazen at the Mushinji Temple, where he met Nageoka Sado, vassal to Hosoko Tadaoki. Tadaoki was a powerful lord who had received the Kumamoto domain in west central Kush after the Battle of Sekigahara. Munise had moved to northern Kush and became Tadaoki's teacher, leading to the possibility that Munise introduced the two. Nageoka proposed a duel with a certain adept named Sasaki Koji. Takitsu believes that the duel was politically motivated, a matter of consolidating Tadaoki's control over his fief. Duel with Sasaki Koji On April 13, 1612, Musashi, about age 30, fought his duel with Sasaki Koji, who was known as the Demon of the Western Provinces, and who wielded Nodachi. Musashi came late and unkempt to the appointed place, the island of Funajima, in the Kanman Straits separating Honshin and Kush. The duel was short. Musashi killed his opponent with a bokken that legend says he had carved from an, or used on the boat, that carried him to the island. Musashi's late arrival is controversial. Sasaki's outraged supporters thought it was dishonorable and disrespectful, while Musashi's supporters thought it was a fair way to unnerve his opponent. Another theory is that Musashi timed the hour of his arrival to match the turning of the tide. The tide carried him to the island. After his victory, Musashi immediately jumped back in his boat and his flight from Sasaki's vengeful allies was helped by the turning of the tide. Another theory states he waited for the sun to get in the right position. After he dodged a blow, Sasaki was blinded by the sun. Musashi briefly established a fencing school that same year. Service. See Shinchikudo Ernest Hart, Straightway, monument dedicated to Miyamoto Musashi, located in Kokura. These characters were engraved by Musashi on his bokken. It stands on the place where Musashi is supposed to have lived, at the foot of the castle. The Hombu Dodo of the main branch of Hizal Honitanichi Rai is in Kokura and demonstrates every year in front of this monument. In 1614 to 1615, Musashi participated in the war between the Toyotomi and the Tokugawa. The war had broken out because Tokugawa Iyasu saw the Toyotomi family as a threat to his rule of Japan. Most scholars believe that, as in the previous war, Musashi fought on the Toyotomi side. Osaka Castle was the central place of battle. The first battle, the Winter Battle of Osaka, Musashi's fourth battle, ended in a truce. The second, the Summer Battle of Osaka, Musashi's fifth battle, resulted in the total defeat of Toyotomi Hideori's army of the West by Iyasu's army of the East in May 1615. Some reports go so far as to say that Musashi entered a duel with Iyasu, but was recruited after Iyasu sensed his defeat was at hand. This may seem unlikely, since Iyasu was in his 70s and was in poor health already, but it remains unknown how Musashi came into Iyasu's good graces. Other claims he actually served on the Tokugawa side, but such a claim is unproven, although Musashi had a close relationship with some Tokugawa vassals through his duel with Sasaki Koji, and in the succeeding years, he did not drop out of sight as might be expected, if he were being persecuted for being on the losing side. In his later years, Ogasora and Hosoko supported Musashi greatly, an atypical course of action for these Tokugawa loyalists, if Musashi had indeed fought on behalf of the Toyotomi. 
In 1615 he entered the service of Ogasora at Danheo, of Herima province, at Ogasora's invitation, as a construction supervisor, after previously gaining skills in craft. He helped construct Akashi Castle, and in 1621 to lay out the organization of the town of Himiji. He also taught martial arts during his stay, specializing in instruction in the art of shuriken throwing. During this period of service, he adopted a son. In 1621, Nusashi defeated Miyai Gunbadi and three other adepts of the Chugunryu in front of the Lord of Himiji. It was after this victory that he helped plan Himiji. Around this time, Nusashi developed a number of disciples for his enmity Rai. Although he had developed the school considerably earlier, at the age of 22, Nusashi had already written a scroll of enmity Rai teachings called Writings on the Sword Technique of the Enmity Rai Enmity Rai Ken Po Show, slash En Ment Circle or Perfection slash Me. Meant light slash clarity, and slash rai meant school the name seems to have been derived from the idea of holding the two swords up in the light so as to form a circle. The school's central idea is given as training to use the twin swords of the samurai as effectively as a pair of sword and jut. In 1622, Nusashi's adoptive son, Miyamoto Nikinasuk, became a vassal to the Himiji domain. Possibly this prompted Musashi to leave, embarking on a new series of travels, winding up in Edo in 1623, where he became friends with the Confucian scholar Hayashi Razen, who was one of the shogun's advisors. Nusashi applied to become a sword master to the shogun, but as he already had two sword masters, Ono Jerome and Tataki and Yaji Munanori, the latter also a political advisor, in addition to his position as the head of the shogunate's secret police, Nusashi's application was denied. He left Edo in the direction of Sh, ending up in Yamagata, where he adopted a second son, Miyamoto Ayari. The two then traveled, eventually stopping in Osaka. In 1626, Miyamoto Nikinasuk, following the custom of Junshi, committed seppuku because of the death of his lord. And this year, Miyamoto Airi entered Lord Ogasora's service. Nusashi's attempt to become a vassal to the lord of Ari, like other such attempts, failed. In 1627, Nusashi began to travel again. In 1634 he settled in Kokura with Iri, and later entered the service of the Daimyo Ogasora at Tadazane, taking a major role in the Shimabliba rebellion. Iri served with distinction, in putting down the rebellion and gradually rose to the rank of Ka, a position equal to a minister. Nusashi, however was reputedly injured by a thrown rock, while scouting in the front line, and was thus unnoticed. Later life and death Miyamoto Musashi, self-portrait, samurai, writer, and artist, circa 1640. The grave marker of Miyamoto Musashi, in present-day Kumamoto Prefecture. A picture of Musashi engaged in fantastic combat, by Yutagoa Kuniyoshi, 1798-1861. Six years later, in 1633, Nusashi began staying with Hosoko Tatatoshi, daimyo of Kumamoto Castle, who had moved to the Kumamoto Fief and Kokura, to train and paint. Ironically, it was at this time, that the Hosokura lords were also the patrons of Musashi's chief rival Sasaki Koji. Clarification needed, while there he engaged in very few duels, one would occur in 1634 at the arrangement of Lord Ogasora, in which Musashi defeated a lance specialist by the name of Takuda Matabani. Musashi would officially become the retainer of the Hosokawa lords of Kumamoto in 1640. The Nitenki records he received from Lord Tatatoshi. 17 retainers, a stipend of 300 koku, the rank of Kumigashira, and Chiba Castle in Kumamoto as his residence. In the second month of 1641, Nusashi wrote a work called the Haizo Hosandugo, 35 Instructions on Strategy for Hosoko Tatatoshi. This work overlapped and formed the basis for the later Goarino show. This was the year that his third son, Hirao Yomen, became master of arms for the Ari fief. In 1642, Nusashi suffered attacks of neuralgia, foreshadowing his future ill health. In 1643 he retired to a cave named Riigand as a hermit to write the Book of Five Rings. He finished it in the second month of 1645. On the twelfth of the fifth month, sensing his impending death, Nusashi bequeathed his worldly possessions, after giving his manuscript copy of the Goarino show to the younger brother of Tereo Maganojo, his closest disciple. He died in Riigan Cave around June 13, 1645, 3, 30th day of the fourth month.
the Heisel Hosenshi Denki described to his passing. At the moment of his death, he had himself raised up. He had his belt tightened, and his wakizashi put in it. He seated himself with one knee vertically raised, holding the sword with his left hand and a cane in his right hand. He died in this posture, at the age of 62. The principal vassals of Lord Hosokura and the other officers gathered, and they painstakingly carried out the ceremony. Then they set up a tomb on Mount Iwato on the order of the Lord. Musashi died of what is believed to be thoracic cancer, and was not killed in combat. He died peacefully, after finishing the dogged, the way of walking alone, or the way of self-reliance. 21 Precepts on Self-Discipline to Guide Future Generations His body was interred in armor within the village of Yuge, near the main road near Mount Iwato, facing the direction the Hosokos would travel to Edo. His hair was buried on Mount Iwato itself, in B. Mount Iwato is part of the Mount Kimpo range in Kumamoto and actually where Musashi wrote the Book of Five Rings in the Riagando Cave. His grave is not here, but about 45 minutes away, to the east, and on the other side of Kumamoto, in the Musashizuka area. Nine years later, a major source about his life, a monument with a funereal eulogy to Musashi, was erected in Kokura by Miyamoto Iari, this monument was called the Kokura Hibben. An account of Musashi's life, the Nitten Ki, was published in Kumamoto in 1776, by Toyota Kajahide, based on the recollections of his grandfather Toyota Masataka, who was a second-generation pupil of Musashi. Teachings Musashi created and perfected a two-sword genjutsu technique called Nitenichi, two heavens as one or Nitichi, two swords as one or Nitenichi Rai, a Konchan Buddhist sutra refers to the two heavens as the two guardians of Buddha. In this technique, the swordsman uses both a large sword, and a companion sword at the same time, such as a katana with a wakizashi. Although he had mastership in this style of two swords, he most commonly used a katana in duels. The two-handed movements of temple drummers may have inspired him, although it could be that the technique was forged through Musashi's combat experience. Jut techniques were taught to him by his father, the jut was often used in battle paired with a sword, the jut would parry and neutralize the weapon of the enemy, while the sword struck or the practitioner grappled with the enemy. In his time a long sword in the left hand was referred to as Jayakumito. Today Musashi's style of swordsmanship is known as Himitanichi Rai. Musashi was also an expert in throwing weapons. He frequently threw his short sword, and Kenji Takitsu believes that shuriken methods for the wakizashi were the Nitenichi Ryu secret techniques. Musashi spent many years studying Buddhism and swordsmanship. He was an accomplished artist, sculptor, and calligrapher. Records also show that he had architectural skills. Also, he seems to have had a rather straightforward approach to combat, with no additional frills or aesthetic considerations. This was probably due to his real-life combat experience, although in his later life, Musashi followed the more artistic side of Bushid. He made various sand brush paintings, calligraphy, and sculpted wood and metal. Even in the Book of Five Rings he emphasizes that samurai should understand other professions as well. It should be understood that Musashi's writings were very ambiguous, and translating them into English makes them even more so, that is why, so many different translations of the Goarino show can be found. To gain further insight into Musashi's principles and personality, one could read his other works, such as Takodo and Hizoho Shiji and Aikajo. Timeline The following timeline follows, in chronological order, of which is based on the most accurate and most widely accepted information, the life of Miyamoto Musashi. Date age occurrence 1578 Musashi's brother, Shirota, is born 1584 0 Miyamoto Musashi is born 1591 7 Musashi is taken and raised by his uncle as a Buddhist 1596 13 Musashi duels with Erumakihi and Hirofugu. Higo Prefecture 1599-15 duels with a man, named Akiyama in the northern part of Higo Prefecture 1616 believed to have fought in the Battle of Sekigahara as part of the Western Army. Whether he actually participated in the battle is currently in doubt 1604-20 Musashi has three matches with the Yashiaka clan in Kyoto, one, match with Yashiaka Sijiro in Yamashiro province, outside the city at Rinte Moor, west of Mount Funeoka, Kitaku, Kyoto, two, match with
Yashia Kadenshichiro outside the city, 3. Match with Yashia Kamatashichiro outside the city at the Pine of Ichiji G160420 visits Kfukuji. Neroin ends up dueling with the Buddhist priest trained in the style of Hazin Rai 1605-1612. 21 to 28 begins to travel again 1607-23 Munisei, Musashi's father, passes his teachings on to Musashi 1607-23 duels with the Kusarigama expert Shishido Bacon in the western part of Mi Prefecture 1608. 24 duels Muse Gonosuk, master of the five-foot staff in Edo 1610-26 fights Hayashi Asido and Tsujike's Tenma in Edo 1611-27 begins practicing Zazen meditation 1612-28 duel with Sasaki Koja takes place on Ganryu Jima, Ganryu Wolfuna Island, off the coast of Shimonoseki in which Kajiro is defeated. Briefly opens a fencing school 1614-1615-30-31 believed to have joined the troops of Tokugori Iyasu in the winter and summer campaigns at Osaka Castle, though no significant contributions are documented 1615-1621. 31 to 37 comes into the service of Ogasawa Ritadaneo in Herima Province as a construction supervisor. 1621-37 duels Miya Gumbi in Tatsuno. Higo 1622-38 sets up temporary residence at the castle town of Himiji. Higo 1623-39 travels to Edo. Adopts a second son named Iri 1626-42 Adopted son Mikinasu commits seppuku following in the tradition of Junshi 1627-43 Travels again 1628-44 Meets with Yaji Gonosuke and Nagoya, Aori Province 1630-46 Enters the service of Lord Hosoko at Adatoshi 1633-49 Begins to extensively practice the arts 1634-50 Settles in Kokura Fukuoka Prefecture for a short time with son Iri as a guest of Ogasora at Tatazane 1637-53. Serves a major role in the Shimadliba Rebellion, and is the only documented evidence that Musashi served in battle. Was knocked off his horse by a rock, thrown by one of the peasants 1641-57 writes Hyo Hosan to go 1642-58 suffers severe attacks from neuralgia 1643-59 migrates into Riigand where he lives as a hermit 1645-61 finishes Goarino show slash the Book of Five Rings. Miyamoto Musashi dies from what is believed to be thoracic cancer philosophy. In Musashi's last book, The Book of Five Rings, Go Ring No Show, Musashi seems to take a very philosophical approach to looking at the craft of war. There are five ways in which men pass through life, as gentlemen, warriors, farmers, artisans, and merchants. Throughout the book, Musashi implies that the way of the warrior, as well as the meaning of a true strategist is that of somebody who has made mastery of many art forms away from that of the sword, such as tea drinking, sado, laboring, writing, and painting as Musashi practiced throughout his life. Musashi was hailed as an extraordinary sumi-e artist in the use of ink monochrome as depicted in two such paintings, Shrike perched in a dead tree Kabokumi Jekizu, and wild geese among reeds Rizanzu. Going back to the Book of Five Rings, Musashi talks deeply about the ways of Buddhism. He makes particular note of artisans and foremen. In the time in which he writes the book, the majority of houses in Japan were made of wood. In the use of building a house, foremen have to employ strategy based upon the skill and ability of their workers. In comparison to warriors and soldiers, Musashi notes the ways in which the artisans thrive through events, the ruin of houses, the splendor of houses, the style of the house, the tradition and name or origins of the house. These two are similar to the events which are seen to have warriors and soldiers thrive, the rise and fall of prefectures, countries and other such events are what make uses for warriors, as well as the literal comparisons of the, the carpenter uses a master plan of the building, and the way of strategy is similar in that there is a plan of campaign. Way of strategy. Throughout the book, Go Ring No Show, the idea which Musashi pushes is, that the way of the strategist he, is similar to how a carpenter and his tools are mutually inclusive, for instance, a carpenter can do nothing without his tools, and vice versa. This too, he compares to skill, and tactical ability in the field of battle. Initially, Musashi notes that throughout China and Japan, there are many sword fencers who walk around claiming they are strategists, but are, in fact, not, this may be, because Musashi had defeated some such strategists, such as Eru Makihini. 
The idea is that by reading his writings, one can become a true strategist from ability and tactical skill that Musashi had learned in his lifetime. He argues that strategy and virtue is something which can be earned by knowing the ways of life, the professions that are around, to perhaps learn the skills and knowledge of people and the skills of their particular professions. However, Musashi seems to state that the value of strategy seems to be homogeneous. He notes that the attendants of the Kashima Kantori shrines of the province Hitachi received instruction from the gods and made schools based on this teaching, traveling from province to province instructing men. This is the recent meaning of strategy. As well as noting that strategy is destined to die. Of course, men who study in this way think they are training the body and spirit, but it is an obstacle to the true way, and its bad influence remains forever. Thus the true way of strategy is becoming decadent and dying out. As a form, strategy was said to be one of ten abilities and seven arts that a warrior should have, but Musashi disagrees that one person can gain strategy by being confined to one particular style, which seems particularly fitting as he admits I practice many arts and abilities, or things with no teacher, this perhaps being one of the reasons he was so highly regarded a swordsman. Musashi's metaphor for strategy is that of the bulb and the flower, similar to Western philosophy of the chicken or the egg, the bulb being the student, the flower being the technique. He also notes that most places seem to be mostly concerned with their technique and its beauty. Musashi writes, in this kind of way of strategy, both those teaching and those learning the way are concerned with coloring and showing off their technique, trying to hasten the bloom of the flower as opposed to the actual harmony between strategy and skill. With those who are concerned with becoming masters of strategy, Musashi points out that as a carpenter becomes better with his tools, and is able to craft things with more expert measure, so too can a warrior, or strategist become more skilled in his technique. However, just as a carpenter needs to be able to use his tools according to plans, so too must a strategist be able to adapt his style or technique to the required strategy of the battle he is currently engaged in. This description also draws parallels between the weapons of a trooper, or soldier, and the tools of a carpenter. The idea of the right tool for the right job seems to be implied a lot throughout the book Do Reno Show. Musashi also puts into motion the idea that when a carpenter is skilled enough in aspects of his job, and creates them with expert measure, then he can become a foreman. Although it is not expressly mentioned, it may be seen that Musashi indicated that when you have learnt the areas in which your craft requires, be it carpentry, farming, fine art or battle, and are able to apply them to any given situation, then you will be experienced enough to show others the wisdom of your ways, be it as a foreman of craftsmen, or as a general of an army. From further reading into the book, the idea of weapons within strategy, as well as Musashi referring to the power of the writer, may seem that the strategy which Musashi refers to does not exclusively reside within the domain of weaponry and duels, but within the realm of war and battles with many men. Just as one man can beat ten, so a hundred men can beat a thousand, and a thousand can beat ten thousand. In my strategy, one man is the same as ten thousand, so this strategy is the complete warrior's craft. In I Tenichi Ryu. Within the book, Musashi mentions that the use of two swords within strategy is mutually beneficial between those who utilize this skill. The idea of using two hands for a sword is an idea which Musashi disagrees with, in that there is not fluidity in movement when using two hands. If you hold a sword with both hands, it is difficult to wield it freely to left and right, so my method is to carry the sword in one hand. He as well disagrees with the idea of using a sword with two hands on a horse, and or riding on unstable terrain, such as muddy swamps, rice fields, or within crowds of people. In order to learn the strategy of Nai Tenichi Ryu, Nusashi employs that by training with two long swords, one in each hand, you will be able to overcome the cumbersome nature of using a sword in both hands. Although difficult, Musashi agrees that there are times in which the long sword must be used with two hands, but if your skill is good enough, you should not need it. The idea of using two long swords is that you are starting with something to which you are unaccustomed, and that you will find difficult, but will adapt to after much use. After using two long swords proficiently enough, Musashi then states that your mastery of a long sword and a companion sword, most likely a wakizashi, will be much increased. When you become used to wielding the long sword, you will gain the power of the way and wield the sword well.
In short, it could be seen that from the excerpts from Go Reno Show, the real strategy behind an I-10 no Ichi Ryu is that there is no real ironclad method, path, or type of weaponry that is specific to the style of an I-10 no Ichi Ryu. You can win with a long weapon, and yet you can also win with a short weapon. In short, the way of the Ichi school is the spirit of winning, whatever the weapon, and whatever its size. Long Sword the strategy of the longsword is different than other strategies, in that it is much more straightforward. In the strategy of the long sword, it seems that Musashi's ideal was, that by mastering gripping the sword, it could become a platform used for moving on to the mastery of Nai Tenichi Ryu, as well as being able to use two broadswords, or more masterfully use a companion sword. Musashi often used the term two fingers, to describe the way, to hold the longsword. But this does not mean he actually taught the grip with only two fingers. In the water book he notes, Grip the long sword with a rather floating feeling in your thumb and forefinger, with the middle finger neither tight nor slack, and with the last two fingers tight. It is bad to have play in your hands. However, just because the grip is to be light, it does not mean that the attack or slash from the sword will be weak. As with any other technique in the Nai Tenichi Ryu, he notes, if you try to wield the longsword quickly, you will mistake the way. To wield the longsword well, you must wield it calmly. If you try to wield it quickly, like a folding fan or a short sword, you will err by using short sword chopping. You cannot cut down a man with a longsword using this method. As with most disciplines in martial arts, Nusashi notes that the movement of the sword after the cut is made, must not be superfluous, instead of quickly returning to a stance or position, one should allow the sword, to come to the end of its path from the force used. In this manner, the technique will become freely flowing, as opposed to abrupt. Nusashi also discouraged the use of only one sword for fighting, and the use of overlarge swords like Norichi, because they were cumbersome and unwieldy. Religion even from a late age, Nusashi separated his religion from his involvement in swordsmanship. Excerpts such as the one below, from the Book of Five Rings, demonstrate a philosophy that is thought to have stayed with him throughout his life. There are many ways, Confucianism, Buddhism, the ways of elegance, rice planting, or dance, these things are not to be found in the way of the warrior. However, the belief that Musashi disliked Shinto is inaccurate, as he criticizes the Shinrai style of swordsmanship, and not Shinto, the religion. In Musashi's Jakodo, his stance on religion is further elucidated, respect Buddha and the gods without counting on their help. Musashi is an artist. Shrike on a Dead Branch, by Miyamoto Musashi. In his later years, Nusashi claimed in his Goarino show, when I apply the principle of strategy to the ways of different arts and crafts, I no longer have need for a teacher in any domain. He proved this by creating recognized masterpieces of calligraphy and classic ink painting. His paintings are characterized by skilled use of ink washes and an economy of brush stroke. He especially mastered the broken ink school of landscapes, applying it to other subjects, such as his Kabokumi Kakuzu, Shrike perched on a withered branch part of a triptych whose other two members were Hori walking, and Sparrow on bamboo his Hori is watching a cockfight, and his Rizanzu, wild geese among reeds. Popular Culture For more details on this topic, see Miyamoto Musashi in fiction. Even in Musashi's time there were fictional texts resembling comic books. It is therefore quite difficult to separate fact from fiction when discussing his life. There have been numerous works of fiction made about or featuring Musashi. E.G. Yoshikawa's novelization, originally a 1930s daily newspaper serial, has greatly influenced successive fictional depictions, including the manga Vagabond by Takahiko Inao, and is often mistaken for a factual account of Musashi's life. A more authentic manga, The Book of Five Rings, a graphic novel, came out in late 2012 from writer Scene Michael Wilson and Japanese artist Chikat Tsubuda. It is based on research and translations by William Scott Wilson. There are also several dozen films, including several with the title of Miyamoto Musashi. One of these, released in the English-speaking world as Samurai I, Nusashi Miyamoto, is an Academy Award-winning film by Hiroshi Inagaki, the first of the Samurai trilogy starring Toshiro Mifun. The British heavy metal band Iron Maiden sings about Musashi in the song Sun and Steel featured on their fourth album, Peace of Mind.
the Warlords of HSM-51, a United States Navy helicopter squadron, use a stylized picture of Musashi as their squadron logo. 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 Stylized